Today we're driving a 2014 LML Duramax. This truck currently has BB Diesel CP3 conversion kit, which replaces the CP4 factory injection pump. The biggest reason for wanting to convert from a CP4 to a CP3 pump on these trucks is re reliability, really. Um, the CP4 is known for being unreliable and catastrophic failure. Now there's plenty of CP3 conversion kits for these trucks on the market and we came relatively later on to the party. Um, but some of the issues that exist with these other kits are to do with, uh, one of the main issues I should say that exists is uh, fuel pressure surge, which can be felt sometimes in the truck as a full driveline surge. In our testing, we found that that surge is caused due to the CP3 flowing at a higher rate than the CP4 that came out, and the truck's having trouble controlling that. So we spent a lot of extra time testing and trying to figure out how to make changes to the CP3 in order to make it flow just like the CP4 so the truck is happy and it doesn't create this surge and the fuel pressure stays nice and steady at all commanded states. So essentially, now that the truck has a CP3, the ECU truck, the driver, doesn't know the difference. It drives exactly like it did before, except more reliably. So the key benefits here are the, the truck, the system, reacts like it thinks it still has a CP4 in it, and the driver, or the owner, has the confidence they have a reliable fuel injection system now with the CP3 conversion kit. This kit is all pieces included, bolt it in, drive it away, no tuning required, no other modifications, emission systems intact, everything works just like it did with the CP4. Now that we're back at the shop, I'd like to show everyone on our data logger, on our laptop here, what the fuel pressure looks like with the CP3 conversion installed. We'll fire it up, show it at idle, and then I'll put a load on it. You'll be able to see the actual and commanded fuel pressure rise and fall together. We started the truck, we're idling. Down here we have the desired or the commanded fuel pressure from the ECU. And over here we have the fuel pressure sensor showing that it's matching exactly. Fuel is nice and smooth, fuel pressure I mean. Uh, now we're gonna put it into gear. Obviously that doesn't change much yet, but as I apply throttle or load, the commanded fuel pressure is going to rise and we'll watch the actual fuel pressure follow it. Here we go. Pressure broke tires a little bit there, so I had to stop. As you can see, up and down, follows exactly like we want to see, just like the stock CP4 would have done. Absolutely no oscillation, no fuel surge at all. Check it out at bddiesel.com.